Hey fellow back there boyers, Nick here. Now today I'm going to be making a curved spoon carving knife. And today I'm going to be using a piece of 1084 carbon steel round stock that's a quarter inch in diameter. Well, let's get started. Start by flattening out about two and a half inches of the end. I'm using the edge of the anvil to keep the curve on one side. I'm going to open the blade up a bit down here at the base so we can start wrapping it. Alright, so now I'm just going to form the blade over this. I'm going to cut off the tang at two inches and then we're going to heat treat. So now I'm just going to heat it up in the forge until it no longer sticks to a magnet. And I'm going to take it a little bit further and quench it warm vegetable oil. Here we go. So you can see that it's actually hardened up in here. Not so much back here, but I think for first attempt, I'm happy with this. So now that it's heat treated, I'm going to go ahead and grind two grooves into the tank. These are just to help hold it in place when we stick it into a handle. So I'm going to do one about maybe half an inch in and one about an inch in on opposite sides. So here it is all cleaned up, now we're going to make a handle for it, and then we can sharpen it up. Alright, now it's time to work on the handle. I'm using a piece of birch I got from one of my trees, and I've cut it 5 inches long. So now I'm going to drill a hole in my handle. I want it to be about this deep, I want there to be a little bit of this shank sticking out at the end. So I'm going to drill it down to there. So now I'm going to shape my handle down to where I want it. Since this wood is pretty dry, I'm going to be doing most of my shaping with the farrier's rasp. Now that I've got this nice and flat, I'm going to cut off the ends and sort of give this an almost oval shape.
Now that the handle is pretty much where I want it, I'm going to hand sand it and finish it. So now I'm going to apply some hot pitch onto the tang of the knife. Alright, here's the knife all finished up. I ended up losing some of my footage, so you guys didn't get to see me put this in or sharpen this edge. You can see I just pushed this in and then wiped off the excess glue. Once it's set, I put a bevel on this and sharpened it. I gave it something of a convex edge and then I polished it with a little bit of compound. If you guys want to see how I sharpened this, please let me know in the comments below and the next time I make a knife like this, I'll be sure to include that. But here it is, all finished up. I really like the way it turned out. It's really comfortable. And I ended up finishing the handle with just some mineral oil. And here's a spoon that I carved with it. So here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed forging this along with me today. If you have any suggestions for other things you'd like to see me build, please let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to see me carve a spoon like this using this knife, please let me know as well. If you like what I'm doing, be sure to check out my channel for other videos like this. And I've also written several books on different topics and you can check out the links to those in the description below. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!